What's up everyone, John Jackson here with professional paintball team Ironman. That's the first time I get to say that. Uh, it's pretty exciting. So uh, last weekend I practiced with the Ironman, I made the team and I got some goodies, but I didn't get to really check them out. I didn't get to post any pictures or anything like that. And I get a lot of questions. Hey, you know, what all kind of gear did you get? What are you gonna be shooting this year? So I crammed pretty much everything at the airport into this backpack that they gave me. Um, and also I'm gonna show you what kind of gun, my setup and all kind of stuff like that. So I didn't get to use any of my stuff last weekend. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick little like unboxing video, but from a bag. So just get into it real quick. First off, thank you for Dai for having me be a part of the Ironman. Thank you to all the Ironman. Uh, it's pretty big legacy and, and there's a lot of ton of history there from Team Ironman and professional paintball team. I think it's one of the longest standing pro paintball teams in history. So I've been friends with a lot of the Dai guys for a long time. Chris Williamson, thank you so much for having me out. Uh, and thank you for considering me to be a part of the team. Uh, I'm extremely excited. I've known Chris since I was like 13, 14 years old. So he brought some bags out on Sunday and, uh, and, and here we go. So let's go ahead and get started on it. So appreciate everything again, but okay. So we got the dive backpack. Uh, I think they make two of these. This is the large one. As you can tell, it is pretty maxed out and I'm just going to go through some of this stuff. Um, basically I opened it up, shoved it in here at the airport and didn't really get a chance to look at it. So let's see what I've got. Let's get started out. We got the die windbreaker. So this one's pretty cool. I saw this one uh, online when I was kind of looking around shopping if I had made the team. Um, it's like a camo print. So it's got a zipper all the way down on the front of it. I'll wear, I'll, this will be in my car all the time. You know, everybody knows it rains in Houston all the time. That's actually why I'm doing this video. It's raining here Sunday. I can't go shoot my new gun, pretty bummed, but I figured I'd at least do a little video on it. So I should die some love. Got another windbreaker, good to go there. Die logo on the back. This one, uh, half half zipper, quarter zipper. Got a big pocket in the front of it. There you go. Some uh, some shorts. I think I already own this pair even because I used these for swimming last summer. Good to go. Nice little beanie. This is a thick beanie. It's a pretty cool beanie there. So I might play in this or wear it on all four days of the year that it gets cold here in Houston. Die shirt. Good to go. This one is sick. I actually played in this one last weekend on Sunday. Had to make it legit. So Ironman shirt, shoot, kill, win. Shield on the front, sick shirt. I'll play in that every week. If you guys are here in Houston, you see me playing, that'll be the shirt I'm playing in. Another die shirt, gotta represent. This bag is full. Another die shirt there, black and white, good to go. And one more die shirt. Sick. Thank you guys. Got to represent on that one. All right, that's the first pocket. Let's check out the next pocket. Black and red tank cover. Anybody that knows me, I love black and red. Black and red for Pro Edge and my original paintball team way back in uh, 19, 1998, 2000. Good to go, black and red tank cover. Wear that. Slide shorts. I've heard a lot of good things about these. I haven't got to wear them yet but they're very, very lightweight, real flexible, and they offer important padding on the important areas. And then it also looks like it's got a little back support padding here. So like maybe your pack uh, kind of sits away from your back a little bit. So, but all the way down, thighs and everything. So I'll try those on. Oh yeah, this is like, so Dai made a barrel sock, uh, a rubber barrel sock, kind of like the other ones, but the difference here is they actually have tools in the front of it. So if you've ever, never seen one of these, uh, it comes with, I want to say a 1 8 Allen key and a 3 16 Allen key. So it just slides in the front, pull it out. So that way it's not in your pocket or your tank cover, anything like that. And you have it while you're at the field. So pretty pumped to use that one. Dye knee pads. I didn't get to wear these yet. Um, I already was pretty much geared up last weekend, bottoms down. And so dye knee pads, I've worn these pads for, I think it was 2004 was the first year I wore dye knee pads. And I probably wore them for 10 years after that. So if you ever talk to me, Dye knee pads are probably one of my go-tos or one of my most popular go-tos I've, I've recommended and personally worn for a long time. So we're reunited again. Got some dye pants, red and black. They're lightweight. I believe these are weapons pants. So like the, the GI race pant, uh, same cut, same style. So I'll be happy wearing those. Super comfortable, lightweight. We got dye arm pads, same thing. I wore dye arm pads forever. I've always carried them at our store. I'm pumped to have those back. 
Good to go. We'll do, all right, so that's everything in the backpack. Check out the backpack itself, padding, ton of pockets, super nice, ton of zippers. Good to go. All right, cool deal. Um, I wore the Die Jet Pack last weekend, so this is like their mid-range type pack. Uh, I tried it out. I like it a lot. I hold six, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to nine pods on here. So, and if you're a little bit bigger guy, like you're an adult, and uh, let's say you're 34, 36 waist, the this uh, belt definitely fits you, no problems at all. So I like that, that's their jet pack. That's a four, I think they call it like a four seven or something. Um, next, everybody knows me, I love wearing hats. So I'll go ahead and switch this over. Thank you, Die. I got a red hat. I just realized that I didn't grab it before the video, but it's like red with white. So it's pretty sick. But I like the way this fits, it's a little snapback hat. All right, I've got Die LTR loader. Pull that out. I already put the speed feed on this bad boy. I haven't used one of these yet though. But the die rotor has been around forever. One button on, little speed feed, super easy to clean. Push that little tab up, super easy, good to go. So this is awesome, excited to use these. Got the lid, put it back in the box. Next weekend I'll be back at the local field doing some drills, shooting some stuff, trying out my gear. Good to go. So if you wanna test any of it, you wanna check it out, you have any questions about it, definitely reach out to me. I've got the art, the, so here the die r2 rotor so this is their high-end rotor this thing looks sick i love like the reflective finish to it it's got a little push button uh, lid release here so you can take the speed feed on and off real quick i like that a lot so of course die speed feed and this type of rotor is pretty cool because you can make it from a 200 you have 200 capacity up to 260. you can just slide it open so if you are a back player or you're a tactical guy that likes to shoot a lot more paint, to carry more paint, you can definitely make it bigger and then just slide the back piece over and slide it down and you're good to go. Let's say it starts raining like it is today. You go and take your lid here and snap it in place and you're good to go. So very, very straightforward. I love this. I'm excited to use these. Good to go. Put that back in. Got two more items for you. Not to make this too long, super pumped. I saved the best for last. Of course, I've got clear lens and then my new Dye i5 mask. I wore the i4 when it was out. I wore, again, way back in the day on VCK days, uh, we wore these, I wore the, the you know, model before the Dye i5. But I love this is the smoke version. So it's got like that clear face plate here, super tight to my face, so very fitted. The foam is very soft, and of course they make sick colors in the lenses. So one of the coolest features, if you don't know what a Dia 5 is, it's got a little latch system here in the back that you can literally wind up and tighten up so it fits the back of your head, cups it pretty well. So nice little system. I love this. I played with it for the first time on Sunday. Absolutely love the goggles. Way, like I said, way tighter to your face, slim, just, just badass in general. All right, last item. My gun came with a charging pad, wireless charging pad. I I sell these guns at the store, but I'm not as familiar with them as I probably should be. Um, but die charging pads, so I can literally lay my gun down on top of it. It's got a little cutout and it'll charge wirelessly. So it's pretty sweet. All right, let's check out this bad boy. So this year we'll be shooting, and I'll be shooting the Die M3 Plus. It's the gun I got at practice last weekend. I didn't get to play with this one. So I borrowed the Nick Zodiac's gun because it was already set up and everything. This was still in the plastic uh, when I got it. So I wanted to hold off. And open it up. Got the barrel kits. I got an extra barrel back from Die. If you can see the numbers on there, I'm gonna do another video on how to bore size and I'm gonna use this barrel. So I have little pieces of tape on there so you can easily see on the camera. So I don't think it comes with that. It's got the barrel tip. And then I'm gonna go put it together for you. I'm excited, this gun is bad. Sorry about that. Barrel sock, a little quick start manual, warranty card, and then the new gun. This is called Spent. So this comes with little bullets printed all over it. It's pretty sick. Hold down the button, turn it on. There you go. Full color screen so I can change, put it like a boot up picture of my cats or dogs, whatever I want on there. Um, and then I've got it where the quick turn off. So you double tap it and it turns off. I also have my name and everything, but I like it. But if you know me at all, um, I get real nerdy with the guns. I try to make sure I learn everything I can about them. So I know a lot of people complain about the die trigger straight out of the box. 
and that's pretty much how most guns are. But if you can see here, I've got this thing super light, super sensitive. If you want to send me your die gun, or if you want to stop by the store, it takes me about five minutes, pretty much get any of your die guns. Trigger's real snappy, feels really good. I'm excited for it. So, uh, cool though, just want to give you a run through on that. I'm extremely excited about the season and all the new gear I've got. Die, I've always had a great relationship with Die, like I said, but this year I get to be a part of the family and actually go uh, win some matches, win some games, maybe win some tournaments with them. So, uh, extremely excited. If you guys have any questions about die gear, make sure you reach out to me. Thanks so much for all the support from everybody on Instagram, Facebook, online, all the texts, all the messages. You guys have no idea how, how excited I am to play with this team, with the history of this team, with the guys on this team. Everybody's badass, super friendly. The coaches, uh, Nikki and Fran, thank you so much for all your support and everything. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the field. Thanks a lot.